G'day guys, how's it going? So in this video we're going to talk about the use of methylene blue for um, substrate spawners, so like American cichlids. In this case I'm using flower horns. Um, I, I want to focus more on the eight day process rather than the mixing of the methylene blue. I'll quickly run over that but this is going to be a full eight day video um, start to finish the use of methylene blue. The reason I've done it like this is because when looking, when researching it myself, um, all the YouTube videos were day one, how to set it up. There was none that I could find that showed the process of what to do in the following days. So I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Um, this one's taken me a bit to put together, so it's one of my more detailed videos. Okay, so I've used methylene blue powder which I bought off eBay for like four dollars and I bought a set of scales for ten dollars now the scales need to be quite accurate because you only need point zero zero point one four grams of powder per forty liters and that you can buy this in liquid which is probably easier if you buy the liquid um, you, you'll have to research different directions. Um, so my plan with this is I'm going to make get little bags and make up mixes ready for 40 litres so that way I can give it to some friends also. Um, and one thing I suggest is not doing it in your kitchen. If you can see all this blue, that's from when I mixed it up. Um, luckily I'm replacing my kitchen next year so that's not a drama but if you've got a nice kitchen, make sure you do it, mix it in the shed. Shortly, I'm going to be pulling the plate from these guys. Um, what I've done here, I've got a methylene blue solution, um, which I've made up. Uh, if you purchase it, powder, liquid, it's all different. The, I have the powder, so I had to make up a 2% liquid, 2% powder to water, and then it was five mils per 10 gallons. So I've got 10 gallons slash 40 liters of water in this tub. Um, <clears throat> I'm using an air stone because I'll be able to sit it over the plate a bit better. So I normally stand the plate up, but somebody like somebody who I really trust their opinion has told me to just put the plate flat on the bottom and then add the eggs. So I'm going to do that and we'll see how we go. So now I've got to separate these guys. Um, so I've got the plate in here. I've got an air stone. I'm not going to go too crazy with the air. It just needs movement. So that's plenty like that. So I've got the eggs in there. And um, I'm going to keep this video going over a few days, so we'll see how the eggs are in a couple of days. <clears throat> and um, we'll just keep doing progress reports. Alright guys, so it's been 24 to 30 hours. Starting to get a few infertile ones. Um, so this is... Uh, um, Trying not to lose hope, but this is the second brood from this boy, and I've kind of got it in the back of my head that he is infertile. I hope that's not the case, but we'll see. So, here we have day three of eggs with methylene blue, and let's see if we can get in focus. They're starting to wriggle. You can see they're moving. Um, I'd say 70% are fertile. But the beauty of the methylene blue is there's no fungus. Sorry about the blurry video guys. My phone finds it really hard to focus on them. So put it back to one there we go that's better um, so today I'm going to water change 50% of this water because 
the fish won't survive in this strength methylene blue from what I've read um, but I'm not taking 50% tap water my water change for them is coming from the parents tank so I'm not doing a 50% water change to bring nitrates down etc my tanks have got crazy low nitrates anyway and that won't have nitrates as it is the reason for the 50% water change is to um, dilute the methylene blue by 50% so this is this is a crucial part which I found a lot of YouTube videos don't tell so I'm making up this video and I'm hoping more people see it and this is a learning experience for me too so um, I'm not going to make this video if this fails so if you're watching up until now and this video is live I uh, have been successful so guys here we have day four I'm doing a voiceover on this video I recorded it at like five in the morning and like I really just didn't make sense so I was so excited I went from the night before thinking that I had all dead eggs to in the morning when I did the I did a morning water change and all the wrigglers flew off the plate you can see them on the side there so then the next video which I'm going to cut to now is day four in the afternoon so I've actually got two videos for day four okay guys so it's day four now um, we've got heaps of wrigglers plenty more than I could hope for um, on the plate there's a lot most of them are white the ones that aren't white are clear and um, they don't have any sign of black dots or anything on them so I think it's safe to say I can pull the plate now so looking at that I'm looking at that I'm gonna say I've got a 50% hatch rate maybe more there's minimum 50% in there but the methylene blue has done its job look there is no fungus on any of these eggs so the potential for this that the fungus could have wiped out a heap of these eggs is big and now that's gone because I've eliminated that so I couldn't be happier with how the meth blue has worked so I'm going to water change this today again 50% um, I'll have a look at the color of the water and then I'll probably do I'll leave it at a 50% change for tonight and do the air stone and tomorrow day five I think I'll start thinking about adding a sponge filter and the sponge filter will be pulled from another tank I'm not putting so I, I want this so what I'll do I'll do a 50% water change with tank water out of that tank tomorrow night and I'll probably take one of those sponge filters and put it in this tub so that'll be my way of getting the tub cycled um, I'm not going to move these to a fish tank yet they can stay here for a couple of weeks alright so that's going to do it for today's segment guys day five another fifty percent water change I've cleaned out all the stuff that isn't eggs um, and so the beauty of my tanks having daily water changes is I can pull water out of them every day and it's not draining them if you know what I mean alright so I haven't got my tripod at the moment I've lent it to somebody so you guys are going to sit up there so day five um, methylene blue is pretty much getting close to all gone I could definitely put a filter in it right now but I have a whole day tomorrow as long as the missus hasn't made plans that I don't know about so tomorrow filter uh, either alright so I'm talking here guys the filter either goes in this tub or I move these fish to a tank I haven't decided yet I am thinking about leaving them in the tub for now because uh, it's just there, it's easy, it's not in my way so far, so hopefully this doesn't become a common thing, leaving tubs in the middle of the floor, but we'll see. 
So guys, this is day six of the flower horn eggs. So tomorrow is one week, so we should maybe start seeing them sewing tomorrow. So I was going to add a filter today, I mentioned that in the last little video about this, but uh, speaking to a friend of mine, he's told me to not do a filter until the there's no point in putting a filter on it until they're free swimming. So that's what we're going to do. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of a back. Um, I don't really think it's necessary, but I'd, I'd just do it with the, with the air stone. When you turn the air stone off, like, all the crap is pretty much on the edges for some reason. I don't know really how that works. Um, just the way the water moves, I guess. So it's not a big, not a big clean up today. Just doing the edges. I don't really want to dabble in the middle here too much. All of that stuff to the bottom. I'm just going to leave that stuff. We're just on the edges. Um, so I'm just going to continue like normal. We're going to do. 50% water change today. We're going to use fish tank water. Um, I don't know where I'm going to get the water from today because the water change hasn't come on yet. I might, I might actually leave that to this afternoon, guys. So I'm not going to include that in the video. There's no point. You guys have seen water changes before. So yeah, day six, another 50% water change, no filter, and we'll see how we're going tomorrow. If these guys are off the bottom tomorrow, we'll add a filter. If not, we'll wait another day. So we're at day seven now. I've just done a water change. As you can see, the methylene blue is almost completely gone. They're borderline swimming around. A couple of are swimming around. When I first came in, they were all on the bottom. When I did the water change, I stirred it up and we've got a few swimming around. So, um, I'm going to drop a sponge filter in there now. The reason I'm recording before I drop it in there is this is a dirty sponge out of a tank. I did the 50% water change with the water from the tank this sponge came from. So when I drop the sponge in, hopefully the bacteria doesn't get too shocked. Now, obviously I don't want to drop it on fish, so I'm going to try and drop it in this, on this side here. There's no fish there, but this is going to go completely murky pretty quickly. Uh, it's actually not too bad. I was expecting bad then. Um, it's a, like I didn't clean the sponge filter before I dropped it in. Normally when I do this, the tank just goes completely brown. So um, that sponge filter is actually doing pretty well. I might um, turn the bubbles down a bit. So. I'll probably drop back on water changes on this now. Um, I, I'll do like 20% a day instead of 50%. We've got filtration in there now, so ammonia and nitrites won't be an issue. So basically now this will just run like an established tank. So I'll probably do one more video tomorrow and then we'll end this um, vlog segment of... Um, using methylene blue. I think at this point whoops at this point it's we can say that it's successful. I'll see you tomorrow for this one. Okay guys so this is day eight. I feel like we've made it at this point. The methylene blue is a huge success. Look how many fry there are. So this is, video is a little treat for you guys. This is an underwater video of the fry. My guess is there's about 200 survivors. Um, at a prediction, I would say I got maybe 50% more. If there was, if they had got fungus, I would I risked losing 50% of this. So I think this was a successful test. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe in the top right corner, guys. See you later.